Hey church family, Pastor Sean here, uh, and I have your word for the day. Today is going to be an interesting topic, and I was hoping it would be a discussion. So let's read our verse for today. Colossians 3, verses 10 through 11. And have put on the new self, which is being renewed in the knowledge and the image of its creator. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. This is such a beautiful passage. Paul is pretty clear about what he's saying here, and in all honesty, I think it contradicts what modern belief is about identity. I personally think this will be one of the biggest hurdles we face when we present Jesus in today's society, because so many people are so overwhelmed with what they identify as. You know all the taglines, and maybe you even identify as some of these taglines yourself. LGBTQ+, race, ethnicity, gender, disabled or not. But Paul is telling us the Paul is telling us in the Colossians church here very clearly that the only thing that should define a Christian is Christ. Now, we will always have defining things about us, things that have helped us to make us who we are today. But the most important feature about us is and always should be Jesus in us. And like I said, this is going to be one of the hardest things for our non-Christian friends and family to understand. We are no longer defined by our strong feminine or strong masculine presence. It's no longer about color of skin. It's definitely no longer about who is the biggest victim. Just Christ. But here's the deal. Especially if you call yourself a Christian. It's not really our job to change people's minds. It's really our job to present the gospel in all of its truth and love. Because you know it's really easy to point the finger at society and tell them what they're getting wrong about Jesus and the Bible and even themselves at times. But here's the deal. They aren't supposed to know this stuff. We are. And we're supposed to present these things with the utmost truth and the utmost love, just like Jesus did for us. And if we don't believe that Jesus Christ is what defines us, how are other people going to believe it either? When confronted with this idea that Christ is all that matters in our life, we have to ask ourselves a question. Do we believe it? Wrestle with this. Bring your doubts to God and allow the Spirit to continually transform you in this so you may go and help others see that Jesus is the most important thing in their life too. So honestly ask yourself, have you been defining yourself by anything other than Jesus? Identify what that thing is, give it over to God through prayer, and ask him to show you again and again why he is the only identifying thing in your life that should matter. In a world obsessed with labels and false identities, be the example and lovingly and tru truthfully show the world why Jesus is the only thing that matters to you. Have a blessed day, church.